In today's video, we're diving into the timeless wisdom of Stoicism, a philosophy that has guided some of history's greatest minds. If you're looking to bring more focus, resilience and purpose into your life, these 10 Stoic rules are for you. By embracing these principles, you'll learn to prioritize what truly matters, find peace amidst chaos, and become the master of your own destiny. So, sit back, take a deep breath, and let's explore how Stoicism can help you live a life of virtue and meaning. Lesson 1 Don't reveal everything, become mysterious. The concept of don't reveal everything, become mysterious revolves around the idea of maintaining an air of mystery in your interactions. By not disclosing every detail about yourself or your plans, you create intrigue and curiosity in others. This approach can enhance your influence, make your presence more captivating, and allow you to control the narrative in various situations. It is a subtle form of power that can be applied in personal relationships, professional settings, and social engagements. Curiosity drives Engagement When you withhold certain information, people are naturally inclined to fill in the gaps. This curiosity can lead them to pay more attention to you, as they are eager to learn more about what you are not saying. Control over perception By selectively revealing information, you can shape how others perceive you. This control allows you to highlight your strengths and downplay weaknesses, making you more intriguing and respected. Strategic Advantage in negotiations or competitive situations, keeping your cards close to your chest can give you a strategic edge. If others are uncertain about your next move, they may act more cautiously, giving you the upper hand. Enhances Personal Magnetism Mystery is often associated with charisma. People who are seen as enigmatic are often perceived as more attractive and interesting. This can enhance your social and professional networks. Encourages deeper connections. When you don't reveal everything at once, it encourages others to invest more time and effort in getting to know you. This can lead to deeper, more meaningful relationships. Avoids overexposure. Revealing too much can sometimes lead to overexposure, making you appear less special or unique. By holding back, you maintain a sense of exclusivity, which can be powerful in maintaining interest over time. Builds anticipation. Just like in storytelling, withholding certain details can build anticipation. Whether it's in personal storytelling, product launches, or creative endeavors, leaving something to the imagination can create excitement and engagement. By embracing the principle of not revealing everything, you cultivate an aura of mystery that can be a valuable tool in both personal and professional life. Lesson 2. Create a fear of losing you. Creating a fear of losing you, often referred to as scarcity in relationships, is about ensuring that your presence and value in someone's life are fully recognized. It's not about manipulation, but about fostering self-respect and healthy boundaries. When people fear losing something, they tend to value it more. In relationships, this principle can help maintain balance and ensure mutual respect. Value yourself. First, self-respect and self-worth are foundational. When you value yourself, others are more likely to value you as well. Make sure your actions and decisions reflect this self-worth. Set healthy boundaries. Clearly define what is acceptable and what is not in your relationships. Boundaries help others understand your limits, and respecting these limits is essential for maintaining healthy dynamics. Maintain independence. Cultivate your interests, friendships, and activities outside of the relationship. Independence reinforces that your happiness does not solely depend on the other person. Communicate your needs. Be clear and direct 
about what you need in a relationship. Effective communication ensures that both parties understand each other's expectations, reducing misunderstandings. Avoid. Over-pursuit, constantly seeking the other person's attention or approval, can diminish your perceived value. Give space for the other person to come to you, reinforcing that your presence is not guaranteed. Display confidence. Confidence is attractive and reinforces the idea that you are valuable and not easily replaceable. Believe in your worth and let that confidence shine through in your interactions. Be prepared to walk away. The ultimate demonstration of self-respect is the willingness to walk away from a situation that does not meet your needs. This doesn't mean being confrontational, but rather understanding that your value remains intact, regardless of the relationship. Lesson 3. Create your happiness. Create your happiness is a concept focused on taking proactive steps to cultivate and sustain personal happiness. It emphasizes the idea that happiness isn't just a result of external circumstances, but is largely influenced by one's mindset, actions and daily habits. By understanding the factors that contribute to happiness, individuals can make conscious choices to enhance their well-being and lead a more fulfilling life. Self-awareness Happiness begins with understanding yourself. Reflect on what truly makes you happy and what aligns with your values. Self-awareness helps you make choices that contribute to long-term satisfaction rather than short-term pleasure. Mindset shift. Cultivate a positive mindset. Focus on gratitude, optimism and resilience. By changing how you perceive challenges and setbacks, you can maintain a sense of happiness even during difficult times. Healthy relationships. Surround yourself with supportive, positive people. Strong social connections are one of the most significant predictors of happiness. Invest time in building and maintaining meaningful relationships. Purpose and meaning. Engage in activities that give you a sense of purpose. Whether it's through your work, hobbies or volunteer efforts, having a purpose contributes to a deeper sense of happiness. Balance and well-being. Prioritize your physical, emotional and mental health. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, adequate sleep and stress management are all essential for sustaining happiness. Continuous growth. Embrace lifelong learning and personal development. Setting and achieving goals, learning new skills and challenging yourself lead to a sense of accomplishment and ongoing happiness. Mindful living. Practice mindfulness by staying present and fully engaged in the moment. Mindful living helps you appreciate the small joys of life, reduces stress and enhances your overall happiness. By integrating these lessons into daily life, you can create and maintain a sense of happiness that is both authentic and enduring. Lesson 4. Be costly and let them invest in you. The concept of be costly and let them invest in you revolves around the idea that people tend to value things more when they have to invest time, energy or resources into them. This principle can be applied to various areas of life, including personal relationships, business and self-worth. By positioning yourself as someone valuable and requiring others to invest in you, you enhance your perceived worth and the level of commitment they have toward you. This strategy fosters mutual respect, deeper connections and long-term engagement. Value yourself first, recognize your worth and ensure that others see it too. If you don't value yourself, it's unlikely that others will. Self-respect and confidence are foundational to making others invest in you. Set boundaries. Establish clear boundaries that reflect your values and needs. 
By doing so, you teach others how to treat you and set the standard for how much they need to invest to be part of your life. Be selective. Not everyone deserves your time or attention. Be selective about who you allow into your life and ensure they are willing to contribute positively. This selectivity increases your value in the eyes of others. Require effort. Don't make yourself too accessible or easy to attain. When people have to put in effort to win your favor or attention, they are more likely to appreciate and value the relationship. Offer quality, not quantity. Focus on providing quality interactions rather than trying to be available all the time. High quality engagement leaves a lasting impression and encourages others to invest more in maintaining the relationship. Reciprocate. Thoughtfully. While it's important to require investment from others, it's equally important to reciprocate in a way that shows appreciation. Thoughtful reciprocation strengthens bonds without diminishing your value. Communicate your worth. Be clear about what you bring to the table and communicate your expectations. When others understand the value you offer and what you expect in return, they are more likely to invest accordingly. By embracing these principles, you create a dynamic where others are eager to invest in you, recognizing the unique value you bring to their lives. This not only enhances your personal and professional relationships, but also reinforces your self-worth. Lesson 5. Don't make them the center of your life. Don't make them the center of your life is a concept that emphasizes the importance of maintaining personal boundaries and independence within relationships. It suggests that while relationships are valuable, they should not consume one's entire identity or sense of self. Prioritizing self-care, personal growth and maintaining a healthy balance in relationships are key to leading a fulfilling life. This approach encourages individuals to cultivate their own passions, interests and goals rather than becoming overly dependent on others for happiness or validation. Self-identity preservation It's crucial to maintain a strong sense of self outside of any relationship. Your identity shouldn't be defined solely by your relationship with someone else, whether it's a partner, friend or family member. Personal growth. Focus on your personal development and continue pursuing your own goals and interests. This not only enriches your life, but also makes you a more fulfilled and interesting person within your relationships. Healthy boundaries. Establish and respect boundaries to ensure that your relationship doesn't overshadow your individual needs and well-being. Boundaries help maintain a healthy balance and prevent dependency. Emotional independence. Learn to manage your emotions independently rather than relying solely on someone else for emotional support. This fosters resilience and self-sufficiency. Balanced relationships. Relationships should be reciprocal, with both parties contributing equally. Avoid situations where one person becomes the sole focus or the relationship becomes one-sided. Avoiding codependency. Codependency occurs when someone relies too heavily on another person for their emotional or psychological needs. Recognize the signs of codependency and take steps to build a more balanced relationship. Prioritizing self-care. Always prioritize your mental, emotional and physical well-being. Engage in activities that nurture your soul, bring you joy and enhance your overall quality of life. Lesson 6. Prioritize your own needs first. Prioritizing your own needs is essential for maintaining overall well-being. Often, People focus on the needs of others at the expense of their own, which can lead to burnout, resentment and a decrease in personal satisfaction. Taking care of yourself first is not selfish. It's necessary 
for sustaining the energy, mental clarity, and emotional balance required to effectively support others and navigate life's challenges. Self-care is foundational, just like in an emergency on an airplane, where you're instructed to put on your oxygen mask first before helping others, ensuring your own well-being is essential. If you are depleted, you cannot effectively help others. Mental and emotional health. Prioritizing your needs supports your mental and emotional health. When you take the time to address your own needs, you build resilience against stress and reduce the risk of mental exhaustion. Physical health. Attending to your physical needs, such as sleep, nutrition and exercise, ensures that your body remains strong and capable. Neglecting these can lead to chronic fatigue and illness, diminishing your ability to perform daily tasks. Boundaries and respect. By prioritizing your needs, you establish boundaries that protect your time, energy and well-being. This teaches others to respect your limits and encourages them to take responsibility for their own needs. Improved relationships. When you take care of yourself first, you bring a more positive, fulfilled version of yourself into your relationships. This enhances communication, reduces resentment and fosters healthier connections with others. Increased productivity and focus. When your needs are met, you can concentrate better and work more efficiently. This leads to greater productivity and a higher quality of output in both personal and professional endeavours. Sustainable Generosity By ensuring your own needs are met, you create a sustainable way to give to others. Instead of giving from a place of depletion, you give from a place of abundance, which is more fulfilling for both you and those you help. Lesson 7. Don't always be ready and waiting. The idea of don't always be ready and waiting speaks to the concept of letting go of the need to constantly be on high alert or prepared for every possible scenario. In today's fast-paced world, many of us feel the pressure to be perpetually ready for any challenge or opportunity that might come our way. However, this state of constant readiness can lead to stress, anxiety and burnout. By understanding the importance of balance and knowing when to step back, we can lead healthier, more fulfilling lives. Understanding readiness. Constant readiness can be exhausting and counterproductive. While being prepared is important, it's equally essential to recognize when it's okay to let go and relax. The cost of overpreparedness. Always being on alert can drain mental and physical energy leading to burnout. It's vital to acknowledge that not every situation requires immediate action or readiness. Embracing uncertainty. Life is unpredictable and it's impossible to prepare for everything. Embracing uncertainty allows for flexibility and resilience in the face of unexpected events. The importance of downtime. Downtime and relaxation are crucial for mental health. They allow the mind to recharge, fostering creativity and better problem-solving abilities when action is needed. Mindfulness and presence. Being present in the moment rather than worrying about future possibilities helps in reducing anxiety and enhancing overall well-being. It's a practice that encourages living fully in the now. Setting boundaries. Learn to set boundaries to protect your energy. It's okay to say no to situations that demand unnecessary readiness or stress, allowing yourself to focus on what truly matters. Trusting in your abilities. Trust that you can handle challenges as they come. Over-preparation often stems from a lack of confidence in one's abilities. Believing in yourself can reduce the need to always be ready. In essence, while readiness is a valuable trait, it's equally important to recognize when it's time to relax and trust in your ability to handle situations as they arise.
This balance leads to a more peaceful and empowered life. Lesson 8. Don't always be the one to start the conversation. Starting a conversation is a crucial social skill, but it's equally important to recognize the value of not always being the one to initiate dialogue. Allowing others to take the lead in conversations can foster mutual respect, create balance in relationships and encourage active listening. This approach not only enhances communication, but also helps to build stronger, more equitable connections with others. Promotes mutual respect. Allowing others to start conversations demonstrates respect for their thoughts and opinions, showing that you value their input. Encourages active listening. By not always initiating conversations, you can focus more on listening, which is essential for understanding others better and improving communication. Creates balance in relationships. Sharing the responsibility of starting conversations ensures that one person doesn't dominate, fostering a healthier and more balanced dynamic. Builds confidence in others. When you let others start conversations, you give them the opportunity to express themselves which can boost their confidence and encourage them to be more proactive in communication. Reduces pressure. Always being the one to initiate can be exhausting and stressful. Allowing others to take the lead occasionally can relieve this pressure and make interactions more relaxed and natural. Encourages diversity of thought. When different people initiate conversations, it brings a variety of perspectives and topics to the table, enriching discussions and promoting a broader understanding of issues. Improves relationship quality. Balanced conversations, where both parties have the chance to lead and contribute, can deepen trust, enhance connection, and improve the overall quality of the relationship. Lesson 9. Don't be too emotionally attached. Emotional attachment is a natural human tendency, but excessive attachment can lead to distress, dependency, and hindered personal growth. When we become too emotionally invested in people, situations, or outcomes, we risk losing our sense of self and stability. Learning to balance our emotions and maintain healthy attachments allows us to navigate life more effectively, fostering resilience and inner peace. Understanding Emotional Attachment Emotional attachment is the bond we form with people, objects or outcomes. While healthy attachment can provide comfort and security, excessive attachment can lead to anxiety and suffering. Recognizing the signs of overattachment Overattachment often manifests as obsessive thoughts, fear of loss or an inability to function without the attachment object. Recognizing these signs is the first step toward managing them. The impact on mental health. Being overly attached can lead to emotional distress, depression and anxiety. It can also cause an individual to compromise their values and self-worth for the sake of maintaining the attachment. Detachment versus indifference. Practicing detachment doesn't mean becoming indifferent or unfeeling. It's about maintaining a healthy distance where you care deeply but are not overwhelmed by the outcomes or dependent on them for your happiness. Building inner strength. Developing emotional resilience involves building inner strength, self-awareness and self-sufficiency. This helps in reducing dependency on external sources for emotional fulfillment. Mindfulness and emotional regulation. Mindfulness practices can help in regulating emotions and preventing excessive attachment. By staying present and aware of your feelings, you can better manage emotional responses and avoid becoming too attached. Cultivating healthy relationships. Healthy relationships are based on mutual respect and independence. By fostering relationships that encourage growth and respect boundaries, you can enjoy meaningful connections without unhealthy attachments. Lesson 10. Be willing to walk away from them. 
Be willing to walk away from them emphasizes the importance of recognizing one's value and not settling for less in relationships, whether they be personal, professional or otherwise. The phrase encourages individuals to maintain their self-respect, set healthy boundaries and prioritize their well-being over the need for approval or acceptance from others. Self-worth awareness Understand and embrace your intrinsic value. When you know your worth, you won't feel compelled to stay in situations or relationships that don't honor or respect you. Setting boundaries. Healthy boundaries are essential in any relationship. Being willing to walk away demonstrates that you won't compromise your standards or allow others to overstep your limits. Emotional independence. Emotional independence means not relying on others for your sense of happiness or self-worth. This independence empowers you to leave situations that are not serving you well. Recognizing toxicity. It's crucial to identify toxic behaviors, whether in relationships or environments. Knowing when to walk away protects your mental and emotional health. The power of choice. You always have the choice to leave. Staying in an undesirable situation may feel safe, but exercising your right to choose can open doors to better opportunities and relationships. Overcoming fear of loss. Fear of loss can often keep people in unfulfilling situations. However, understanding that walking away might lead to better outcomes helps overcome this fear. Empowerment through action. Walking away is an empowering act. It reaffirms your self-respect and shows others that you won't accept anything less than what you deserve.